It's the beginning on the end. Beginning of the end. Okay. Official cut. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our movie club. Today we are going to discuss a movie, uh, a fresh one, 9010, 90. How we say it? Uh, 2009. 2009. Okay. 20 or 2009. Whatever okay. you like. Okay, I like all nine. <laughs> yeah, because it, the same as the previous centuries, 1907. We don't say 1907. Okay. They did, but okay. people did back then, interestingly. Why we stop it? <laughs> because of yeah. the pace of life, we stop it. Yeah, it's just because people think it's important. <laughs> they are, their time is more important. 1917. <laughs> okay. You know, that that's stopped. <laughs> Yes, we usually uh, pronounce the entire uh, sentence, not, uh, we do not use uh, O, usually we pronounce it as a zero. So whenever someone uh, pronounce the zero as O, uh, it sounds uh, something uh, weird for us. Uh, okay. Because weird. we used to say it, yeah. Okay. okay, O is used in years, phone numbers, uh, that's about it. What about, what about money? Oh? Money is zero. Zero. Okay. So O for for years. O is for phone numbers and years. And then you okay. have different n numbers. Uh, zero in football is <laughs> nil. One yeah. nil. One so nil. You, 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 you mean score in football? The score in football. And the score in tennis is different again. That has another name. Okay. Tell us. <laughs> Does anyone know? No idea. Fifteen love. Wow! Yeah. Like, like, first, like. first score. The first guy scores a point. Fifteen love. <laughs> Fifteen love, like love. I love yeah, you. Yeah. you okay. We are a happy family. <laughs> I, I hear a joke that uh, somebody said that my favorite sport is tennis because it says love all. Ah, yeah. oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay. So speaking about love and all those things, we have a movie that named I Love. <laughs> I Love You, Felix Morris. Yeah, not a conventional love story. <laughs> not a conventional love story. <laughs> okay. No. okay, but you know, it's a modern world, right? Nothing is conventional anymore, right? So, so let's, let's try to, to discuss this one. So let's start to, this story itself. Yeah? We, 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 we don't have to follow all the small details, but let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's like draw the story in you know, like big strokes. Can I say so? Uh, 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 um, grand strokes. Grand, grand strokes. Okay, let me write it. Grand. Yeah, there were a few cringe-worthy moments. I'm going to teach this word. Cringe-worthy. Uh, that make you do this look... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's cringe worthy. To cringe is make this face. Okay. So cringe worthy are mo the moments, the gay moments, you know. But I forgot, I forgot about those, you know, because it's such a good story. Okay, okay. So Sergey, let's start with, with you, if you, if you can. Uh, yeah. Um... There is a guy. <laughs> <laughs> there is a guy who uh, uh, stand. Uh, in front of uh, his family and uh, they told him you are a foster son like, oh why i don't know why because uh, why i was a foster son why my mother uh, took me and uh, i don't know and uh, after that uh, we uh, saw the postman uh, by jim carrey and uh, he tried to find uh, his mother and uh, he went to the building and uh, he tried to uh, speak with uh, his potential mother but uh, uh, mother uh, didn't talk with him didn't, and, want to, uh, didn't want to talk to him or refused, didn't want, refused to talk to him yeah did want did, didn't want to talk uh, with him and uh, after that um, uh, Jim Carrey I don't know why uh, started to uh, make strange things and uh, okay may, may i ask a question so we know yeah, this do. He's, he started to do strange things okay just a quick okay. quick correction yes Ivan. Yeah. yeah we know this collocation like breaking bad right can we use this for jim carrey 
He started. He went breaking bad. Well, yeah, he did. He broke bad because he started breaking the law. So we can. So what? What, what will be the collocation? He started. And what? He broke bad. He's, he's, you can say he broke bad. He started going crazy. He started. Uh, he started. He started, he started <laughs> changing his life. He had an epiphany. Okay. Okay. Well, so we, before, okay. Well, well, you have to get to the moment in the in the in the ambulance. That's when he had the epiphany. Mm -hmm. To have an epiphany is to have a realization. Ah, now I know. But if epiphany, if, is, yeah, it's not like it's not like spelled like, right from God. Right, it's like uh, just a every uh, It doesn't have to be from God. Okay, I'm an atheist and I have had epiphanies, but it okay. does it does have a religious uh, origin. Yes. Okay, so Sergey, okay, be, be, before before uh, what was the what was the name of this guy? Who, uh, Careful now, guy. <laughs> Stuart, but Stuart, Stephen. Steven. 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 Okay, Steven. So before Steven broke bed, what he was like? What was, was he like? Broke, what was he like? Yeah, what was he like? Can you describe him a bit? I, I don't understand your questions. Yeah, yeah. So be, before before he became to be a bad guy or something, before he before he changed. Yeah. yeah. He, he he has Mm -hmm. He uh, worked as a policeman. Uh, he had uh, a family with a small uh, daughter, and uh, he, they they didn't have uh, any problem. And uh, they, they, lived. they lived a normal life, or they were living yeah. a normal life. They living yeah. the normal life, but suddenly, and uh, it's a very strange more <laughs> moment. Okay. Shockingly, <laughs> shocking. Shockingly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and <laughs> suddenly, I was, and the, he was, I he was kind of religious, right? <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very okay, shocking for let's me. Let's ask, let's, let's ask someone else. But the, Morgan, what, do you, what do you describe? Uh, <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what happened to Steven, and why? What happened? Yeah, what happened? Why? Why? Why he went? Uh, why did? He? Why did he? <laughs> he yeah. He changed. Change or decide change. to come out of the club. <laughs> okay, sure. yeah, he, he uh, yeah, he uh, had uh, hiding his uh, that he was uh, gay, yeah, yeah. And, so he, uh, he, he, he was hiding before, or he just changed his life at that, po at that point? Ah, uh, he has been that for all of his life, so he was lying to himself. As well as his wife. Yeah. No? Is that it's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and, and being uh, a gay, like how how he said it, it's a very expensive thing. <laughs> yeah, he moved to Florida and uh after he came out of the closet. Yeah. Don't forget he came out of the closet. That's an important expression, you need that. Yeah, he almost died, and he he decided that he was uh, going to come out of the closet. Yeah, he uh, he was in a car accident and mm -hmm. uh, decided to live the life to the fullest. That's it, live life to the fullest. And uh, he moved to Texas and uh, to Florida, then to Florida, yeah. and uh, he met a man. Um, Would you say he fell in love? Yeah. Okay, let's well say it then. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, okay. And he becomes a con man and trick people into giving uh, uh, them, their, him their money. Yeah, yeah. So stealing and uh, what, what else? Ripping people off. Ripping, ripping. I got ripping people off. Off. Fraud. Okay. Credit card fraud. Uh, passport fraud. Yeah. Why? Why? Why he did this? He wanted oh. money. <laughs> why was he doing it? Or why did he do that? He was a rip-off artist. 
Yeah, a good one, eh? Yeah, a con man. Vasans, would you like to continue, please? Yes, I think he needed that money to live a private life with his boyfriend. Maybe. To support because his can, lifestyle. Yeah, because usually such people are unusual from the conventional uh, people and they need a fancy lifestyle. So, uh, and also to be separated from the rest of the people because they might get hurt or maybe harassed uh, what do we call they might be teased for their li lifestyle their, their choice so they needed a grand home a separate home and they needed vacation i think that's how that's why he decided to con it why why he why he did not just have not decided to I don't know, to work hard why didn't he Ivan, why didn't he just get a job? <laughs> yeah, why didn't he just yeah, get a job? Negative question, why didn't he? Yeah, he also mentioned uh, in this film that he was a good, uh, he was a hard worker and even though he he was working so hard, he couldn't earn so much money that he wanted. So uh, that's why he moved mm -hmm. to the other, other way. So getting getting a job just did not work in his case. Yes, right? just twenty four hours is not enough. Okay, and as a former cop, he probably knew some tricks that made him a flow, right? How how to say it? Made, made him made him um, made him gave him inside information. Yeah, give him inside information and uh, like allowed him to allowed him yeah to 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 uh, to to use the system. To, yeah. if in his favor. In his favor, exactly. But eventually, they caught him anyway, right? Yeah, or he was caught. He was caught. So, and it started a new season for us and for him. Uh, let's call it in prison. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Will you? His first, his first uh, sentence. First, his first stint in prison. That's the word we say. We use S T I. Let me write it. S T I N T, yeah, stint in prison. A stint in prison. Okay. So, yeah, a spell would you, in prison. Would you, would, you, would you like to continue with his first stint in prison? Very good, stint in prison. Yeah, and uh, he uh, went to the prison and uh, he worked as a, a library manager in, inside the prison. And uh, uh, once upon a time, he uh, met a uh, new person uh, who uh, didn't go to the yard because uh, he uh, scared scared he felt, uh, he felt scared he felt he felt scared scared afraid he, felt, he afraid that he was afraid he afraid, he af afraid that uh, other guys uh, inside the yard uh, his name uh, was Philip Morris, and uh, Steve and Philip Morris. Uh, uh, they have a click. Right? They click. No, 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 they have a. Uh, they have a. No, they uh, had a, a very uh, emotional, uh, very hard empathy, and uh, they, they started to discuss about something, and uh, we uh, strong, a strong connection. Strong con strong a strong connection, connection yeah. is what you, might, very, what you mean. Very strong connection. Yeah. <laughs> and they... we, we started to understand that uh, the second guy uh, was a gay. Again. Uh, <laughs> was homosexual. No, gay. Was queer. Homosexual, yeah. Mm. Queer, <laughs> gay, or homosexual? Queer. Queer is very common, yes. Queer was an insult, but has been adopted by homosexuals. They now yeah. call themselves queers. Okay, uh, they felt in love, uh, boss, and uh, they started to write small letter uh, each, each together and uh, to uh, each other. To each other, yeah. yeah little, little secret and, notes, little notes, love notes. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know how, but Steve uh, uh, have been removed uh, to uh, the camera. To uh, Philip Morris, and they started have uh, had 
uh, a lot during. He bribed a guard. He paid a guard to bribe an, an official. He bribed. Well, you know? I have a question, sir. Where uh, Steve got money? Uh, well, Steve had money from his illegal activities. And probably so, his, he sent his ex-wife a lot of money. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. He, probably he had some money and, you know, because of his character, he probably sells cigarettes or some yeah, counterfeit was, or something. Yeah. He was super intelligent. Really, really. He had a really high IQ. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it was a true story. It is a true story, too. So which is even more interesting. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. He's in prison for 200 years or something. What's else, please? Yes, and he had an ally uh, out of the prison, you know, uh, another guy who mm -hmm. is interested in <laughs> these activities. So, uh, and he also helped him to get forged uh, to forge the documents, uh, the bail documents. So, yeah, I think he uh, he might have helped him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do, do uh, uh, speaking of you know exchanges, uh, these letters. Letters of love. I, I remember this uh, funny guy, a uh, black guy who was a janitor or something, who was their postman. And I remember this scene, just recalled it like uh, when, when he said, My word is my bone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> while, he, while he's getting the shit beaten out of him <laughs> by the prison guards. <laughs> my word is my bone, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's really good, yeah. No, but I think it's a good example of dedication to work. You know, so yeah. <laughs> I would like to see that in my employees. What was his name again? <laughs> yeah, he was, a, he was an exemplary employee. <laughs> exemplary employees. <laughs> okay, so um, eventually... Uh, he was a, ho a homophobe as well, I just want to add. But money is money, right? Yeah, money is money. <laughs> 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 what is bond? Uh, well, look that up. Google it. A bond is a, a government security. Now, a bond is a link. Okay. A joint. It's like a, a connection. Obli a obligation, connection. right? Obligation. A bond is, is also an obligation, and it's a financial securities. Yeah. But uh, in its ba most basic form, a bond is a connection. Okay. I remember glue, super glue. It was called super bond or something. Bonded. Okay. Okay, so agreement it was an agreement. Yeah, but it's a nice phrase. I see. My word is my bond. I'm going to use it from now. Yeah, it's like my my. I swear. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're I, you're going to use it from now on, are you? My word yeah, is my okay. bond. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> but, okay, I like it. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Keep talking. I'm having fun here. Yeah. Okay, so eventually Stephen get out from the prison, right? Because he gets released. Is the is correct period. term. How we call it? Period. Sentence. His sentence over. What over? Right? His sentence. He, he yeah. He he uh, finished. He completed his sentence. His sentence so, is over. He got released. Is the correct word? Yeah. He okay. got released, or he was released. So eventually he was released and started to be advocate. Realized, right? not realized. Re R e l e a s e d. Okay. Jorgen, could you please tell us about his uh, career as a lawyer? As a lawyer, <laughs> <laughs> I like the episode with the judge. You know, in, in his chambers. Chambers, yeah, chambers. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Um, I don't. Yeah, it's it was a fake. Yeah, he was a fake lawyer. Fake, fake yeah. yeah. Can we say fake advocate or something? A fake lawyer is fine. Yeah, false lawyer, phony. You know, fake is good. Oh, okay. But he was very successful, right? He, yeah. He used to win game. He used to win what we call it? Uh, argues. How we call it when he in the court? Win an argument. Win an argument. Yeah. He used to win an argument in in. And win court. cases. In cases, yeah, good cases, good arguments. So when people started to hire him, and he <laughs> he got a new job, right, and became to be a well-paid guy because yeah, he, he got a top job. He, he got a top job, and um, he got to be a, to be well-paid, but it's because he faked statistics. 
as, well, as far as I understand. So His CV uh, was completely faked. <laughs> okay, so what happened after what sounds after his job for this corporation? When they found out all this fake you know, writings, how to say fake records. And figures. And figures. Fake records and figures. Who's going to speak? Who are we <laughs> waiting for? Vasant. Um, so uh where we stopped, um they found out yeah, yeah so uh, this corporation or exactly one guy uh, mm -hmm. lawyer he found uh, one, one hard ass <laughs> one hard ass okay yeah. <laughs> who never liked him who never trusted him yeah. but do you remember this episode about golf playing <laughs> a lot of swearing inside <laughs> they were playing golf yeah that's right yeah yeah and he's a terrible golfer <laughs> <laughs> Can you be a top manager with a uh, no without a skill playing golf? I think it's impossible. Because well, it depends on the country, I guess. It's the, in the United States. You have to be able to uh, swing a club, yes, for an executive. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are a top manager, probably you are from from a good family, you know, yeah. with a good education, with a. College, how was they called? Ebony League or how? Uh, uh, Ivory League. Ivory League, sorry. <laughs> Ivory Ivory League colleges, <laughs> yeah, and they've all been playing golf since they were 12. Yeah. So he probably was, he uh, like, uh, he wasn't prepared. His yeah. life yeah, not prepared him. You need money to play to play golf, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? They found out he's a fake guy. So, what, what is happening? Um, they again, uh, they filed a complaint against him, and the police were chasing. And, and during that time, uh, he uh, he was driving back to his home and uh, telling uh, his boy uh, Morris uh, that they, they are going to have a vacation, and he withdraw. He withdrew uh, as much as he could, uh, and then. But uh, Morris didn't like it uh, because he he had received so many calls from the office about his disappearance. So he suspected him that uh, that he might have done something uh, illegal, and so he moved out of home um, and as. Uh, Steve was uh, chasing him back uh, as he was ready to chase him back. Uh, he got arrested by the police and um, again the breakout uh, or the recap, uh, uh, escaping from the, the escape getaway. starts again. Yeah, getaway plan again. He, yeah, he had a getaway plan. At, at that point, he reminded me a guy from the, our previous movie, right? Who, oh, Luke? Cool, huh, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Never gave up, you know. Keep us, keep doing this escape again and again and again. Yeah, they they have things in common, I guess. Perseverance. <laughs> yeah, I can't write this. Sorry, you Perseverance. <laughs> okay. Sergey, would you would you would you like please describe this Philip Morris to us? So we, we know a lot about Steve Steven, yep, at this point, but we know nothing about Philip Morris. What uh, is his character? <clears throat> Philip Morris uh, looks like a, a very sensitive guy. Uh, uh, he uh, had behavior as a woman. He uh, eff effeminate. Effeminate. effeminate behavior. Yeah, he uh, was very soft. Uh, he uh, tried to support uh, Steve, and uh, he made uh, a lot of something women deals inside the inside new new house uh, for his family. And uh, if uh, we. Uh, <clears throat> watched a movie about uh, men and women it's a normal situation 
but the situation when two men it's strangely for us because we uh, didn't got used to see we are not color. we're not used to seeing yeah we are not used to seeing, to seeing right? yes we're not used yeah. to seeing that type of thing well so, it's so used to is a very tricky expression right it can be yeah, about if you, aspects. if you use it as an adjective i am yeah. used to think that's an adjective used to like i'm i am busy right i'm busy talking to you mm -hmm. i am used to talking to you that's the way i i recommend thinking about it mm -hmm. and then used to is like an adverb i used to live in it's like a it's like a, mo, a modal or an auxiliary i used to work i used to work in in madrid but not anymore yeah, I used to work, it's me, and just I worked in the past, but I finished, right? Yeah, not anymore, it's, it's related, yeah. but not anymore. And, for and instance, then you... I, I used to watch in Western media, it's me, and that it's something I that am I, used to. I am used to. Yeah, you I have to use to... it to be. I am used to, or I was used to, I, I will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I try to talk about the habits uh, got yeah. used to. When you're talking about get used to, it's the process of becoming used to something. So uh, when I moved to Spain, I wasn't used to going to bed so late. I had to get used to it. I had to spend some time here. And then I got used to going to bed so late and having dinner so late. Right? So there are two expressions to be used to doing something and to get used to doing something and get is the process i get married get tired get angry all those gets are the process become right okay uh, if okay. we uh talked about habits in the past habits in the past you don't have to use you could say i used to i used to drive to work i used to play football I used to, not I am used to. <laughs> That's the difference. I used to. I used to play football, but not anymore. Oh, okay, guys, sorry, I'm good disconnected. Is that clear? But I'm back. Do you hear me? Does that help you? Serge? Serge? Sergey? But uh, I'm afraid, I, I'm afraid, but uh, I uh, don't understand. Uh, how to describe my uh, habits in the past, for example, and uh, uh, I I uh, didn't uh, have the similar habits in the past and uh, 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 the process in the past. It's not. Uh, uh, let, 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 let me try to help you. So I think you were speaking about the usage that I got I got used to Jerome. Yeah. So I, I got used I got used to watching i don't know western media so i don't have this habit but i you know they forced me again and again and now i have this habit so exactly. as, as far as i understand it must be like not your it, it must be like <laughs> what like someone forced you or circumstances forced you. So circumstances forces forced yeah, you forced you so it's not like my you know i work at hard and now i got used to watching something i think it's kind of weird Am I right? Yeah, it's like driving on the left or driving on the right. That's a good example. If you moved to England, Sergey, and yeah. you had to drive on you had to drive on the left. Yeah. And the steering wheel is is in a, is on the other side. It's on the passenger side. <laughs> so when you get there, when you go to England, you'd say, "Hey, I'm not used to driving on the left." You, you but you'd have to get used to driving on the left. No, a perfect example. So I am. Uh, I'm not used to driving. Yeah, let's say I, I went to live, a Russian and person, a Russian now, man, went to live in London or England, and he had to get used to driving. Yeah, I think it's a perfect example. So, Sergey, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. The difference. So, I, I'm not used to driving on the left side, but I will, got, I will get... I will get. I will get, sorry, there is a mistake in chat. I will get used to, to driving on the left side. Okay, let's go on. So, um, where have we finished? Where were we? Yeah, where we go? Where were we? It's where, hard where to say. Where, 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 where,
No, he was making his getaway in his red sports car. Ah, yeah, yeah. He was very uh, persistent in his yeah. intention to get out from the... Yeah, to, he, was, he was determined, determined. To, uh, to stay away, to stay out of jail. Yeah. But eventually, this Philip Morris, who seems to me like be a like kind of a right guy, you know, the guy who will not accept the break. A straight, a straight guy, straight lace. <laughs> okay. A straight shooter. <laughs> a straight shooter. Okay. So no, he... no gays, no gay jokes. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I like this one. Uh, so, so he did not like uh, the fact that he like has a bond with a con man, right? And he refused him. What's the word for this? What is that? A bond? A Rejected him. Reje Rejected he left him. him. He left him. He, he left. He broke it off. He broke? He, he didn't want to go back to jail as an accomplice because he, <laughs> he could have been an accomplice to all these crimes. He was benefiting, right? He was drinking the money. Yep. So uh, Stephen, uh, he had to invent something to attract attention from Philip Morris, right? And he did. Rosans, do you remember what what he did to to attract? What attention? did he do? What did he do? To attract Philip Morris, okay. He faked his uh, illness, right? Well, Stephen, you're talking about, uh, not Stephen. Yeah. Yes, uh, he faked mm -hmm. his illness, yes. And uh, he observed uh, other, other patients' uh, symptoms and uh, all the other things. So, and he faked his um, disease. Like, Did he fake his disease? He yeah. pretended he had AIDS. Yeah. yeah. And, and did he, he catch you out? Did you believe it? Yeah, I believe. I believed it. I believe it. <laughs> you didn't believe it. Did Did you know? Believe. He was faking it, Vasanth. No, uh, actually, I believed it because yeah. of his behavior. Yeah. yeah, it was very plausible to me. Yeah, it was. Sorry. Very, very plausible. Very plausible. Very plausible. Yeah. Plausible. Pla plausible. Plausible. Very plausible to me. Yeah. I, I loved. I, I showed it to my wife the second time, and I said nothing. I kept quiet, and I watched her. She was crying at the end, and I <laughs> <laughs> trying to hold my laughter in. <laughs> so they did well. The filmmakers did a good job. If they if they caught everybody, everybody was surprised, and that and the scene at the beginning, nobody expected yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, in general, my, my first question about this movie, what do you feel when you know when directors like fake you, like they fool you? What do yeah, they you fool you? Yeah. Because I'm not happy about that. When they fool <laughs> me at that moment, I think fucking bastards. Well, why do they do this? I think that's good. That's a job well done. That's okay. They're doing the job. <laughs> if they make you cry or make you feel anything, then they're doing a good job. Well, if if they made me cry about real drama, I'm I appreciate this, you know. But if you make me made made me cry about nothing at all, you know, I I, I get a, a bit angry. Because you think they're playing with your emotions. Uh, yeah, they manipulate me. Yeah. They, well, then don't go to the cinema anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people pay their ten to twenty dollars into the cinema to, or the movies. Okay. Anyway, I know what you mean. There's a name for that uh, um, schmaltz. It's called that. That uh, it's a Jewish word. My father taught me <laughs> schmaltz. It, it's that art to make you feel to and manipulate your 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 emotions. Uh, and if you if it's a Jewish word, so it must be manipulate you and take your money, right? Well, they've taken your money at the door of this of the movie theater and the popcorn. So okay. Okay, let's let's finish with the story. So, what was it? A happy end or something? Jorgen? <clears throat> I think no. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was the end? Um... He got two hundred years in prison. I think because he he made a fool of so many judges. I think George W. Bush was the governor at the time. He was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, please? 
<laughs> yeah, uh, especially the ending scene made me feel um, comfortable or, or relaxed because if they showed the end slide with uh, the code that he got uh, the sentence for lifetime and he remained in jail uh, but the last shot that he was running and and everybody else is chasing him uh, uh, and that, that that felt uh, like uh, okay yeah i'll say that uh, it's you know how uh, who he is so he again is uh, he spent his uh, rest of the sentence uh, escaping from the prison so uh, there's 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 no sad ending so uh, okay. that was a relaxing what about yeah. the music did you like the music do yeah <laughs> the music's great do, 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 yeah. Do. yeah but we, we we forgot to to mention our, my favorite scene you know with the judge in this chambers a chamber episode what I yeah the chambers oh. judge's chambers judge's chambers it was very nice i think when he faked it, that he's a lawyer he got like, he's struck can you say yeah. struck, stump, stump. Like he he didn't know what to do anymore. No, he yeah he got he he went blank. He went blank and he, he went came, blank and he's yeah. going. I, do you know? <laughs> and they were all going. What? They say no, we are not going. What what are we going to do? You know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about um, Archer versus something? Yes. 18, 1988? Yeah, and they, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, in Ireland, we call that a chancer. He's a, he's a fucking chancer. It's like a playing poker with bluffing. Yep. Bluffing, yeah. But it's it's a personality trait. If someone always does that, yeah. In England, in our in Ireland, we call him a chancer. He's a chancer. He's always chancing his arm. He try he try anything, you know, <laughs> hard neck. <laughs> okay, so it was my favorite scene. What is your favorite scene in the movie, Jorgen? What is your favorite one? Uh, what did you like most? Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I have uh, two two things. Um, with a baguette, he pushes aside in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? But I forgot this one. The the bread in the basket uh, when the woman <laughs> was in the shop and he pushed the baguette to the side. It. Uh, for what? Looks like, uh, yeah, <laughs> the thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, it, uh, it, it had a phallic, it, a phallic, phallic. shape. It, phallic. it was shaped like a dick. Ah, okay, now I remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, and when he uh, was uh, at the meeting. Uh, this is my new assistant, and he shocked all the others that he was very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, all these graphs, you know, with a uh, with, uh, what, with the growth, right? Yeah, graph. Like proje yeah, projected yeah. growth. Yeah, mm -hmm. projected. Okay, Sergey, so, yeah, do you have your favorite sense in the movie? What do you like? It? Yeah, uh, there are the similar sense, uh, the meeting with the uh, judge chambers, uh, the meeting in the toilet with the juror. Uh, with the ex, yeah. uh, it's a, his ex colleague. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, the, it was the hard ass, that guy, the hard ass who, who discovered his, his criminality. Yeah, and the uh, third scene uh, when they played, uh, when uh, he. Um, uh, told the uh, short funny story about uh, uh, Jude uh, Advocate uh, with three questions and uh, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he heard this story several times again and again and again. <laughs> yeah, so he made a joke to the company and everyone retelling him this yeah. joke again and again <laughs> and again. So he got that. Yeah, it was a nice story. I agree. That was the country club circuit. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, he didn't like them. They were all false and phony. He didn't like them. The guys who play golf, you know, the corporate so guys, cute. big wigs. Okay. okay. What else? What did you like? Mm. Yes, I like the joke part and uh, and the attempts he made. The attempt. 
Yeah, no, I think he made so many attempts to get the insurance, you know. He was uh, pouring, spilling the oil on the ground and uh, slipped down and he was jumping uh, uh, from making, the elevator. That's called making insurance claims. Yeah, insurance claims. Yeah, that's very common in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, okay, we have a few questions on our Padlet. So let me, let me ask you. Don't you want to know my favorite part? Yeah, please, tell it. When he was at the start, when he was a little boy and he was looking up at the clouds, <laughs> yeah. the rest of the kids <laughs> seeing, <laughs> seeing uh, sheep and dogs and he sees a big dick and balls. Oh, he says he say it, it's a wiener or something. Yeah. A wiener, yeah. A wiener is a, a sausage. <laughs> okay. In America. It's actually German, I think. Wiener, wiener. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are the questions? Yeah, let's start with that. Steven was a good cop in past. Why could not he stop being a fraudster? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> because he changed, I think. Yeah, any other ideas? Because he got used to the <laughs> buzz of making money, of the buzz of, of ripping people off. There's adrenaline buzz. Breaking yeah. the, and breaking the law, you know. Yeah, and do you think he was a good cop? We know nothing about this actually. We know we know that he was a cop, but was he good? We don't know. Maybe he was a bad one. Yep. Incompetent, maybe not corrupt. Yeah, because he said that the only reason why I go why I became a cop to know who was my mother, right? So mm. probably he was not like And she like rejected him. him. Yeah. And why she rejected him? That yeah. was crazy. <clears throat> Get him, yeah. come, don't come back here. <laughs> That's just a horrible old woman. Yeah. Okay, another one. Why did he still be in a relationship with his wife? Why was he? Or why uh, did he maintain a relationship? Okay, why did he maintain a relationship with his wife? Jorgen, what do you think? Why? Mm. No idea. Because of the child, because of children, I guess. No? Yeah. Not possible, yeah. I think they, they had feelings for each other at some level. On some level. But do, do you remember the scene when his wife was, uh, how we call it, was praying? Praying. <laughs> <laughs> and saying, you go for this guy who you send me to make my... Uh, he was tired, right? I, I, I did not feel like they have connection or something. Yeah, yeah. because he was living a lie. Living a lie, yeah. And it's always hard, right? Because you are not you are <laughs> who you are. Yeah? Living a lie. And she was also living a, a kind of lie too. You know, the perfect uh, the American dream home and the whole thing. Okay, he has made so many attempts to escape from the prison. Why was he, was he smart or the police were dumb? Yeah, see why? Why he made so many successful attempts? I think that the police uh, imp uh, had had improved the uh, system of uh, closing the prison uh, because uh, they had the similar uh, cases. But uh, he he was a smart, it's, uh, obviously, and uh, but sometimes. Uh, he paid uh, some money for uh, making attempts, and uh, sometimes the polls were dumped. Why not? Well, you know, I, I think it's because you know there is no uh, like a perfect jail, so it's always like a balance between you know strict system and attempts they are made. So, in in my uh, in my understanding, not many people make these attempts at all. So probably it's a kind of a balance. If you if you have a real really eager guy, he will escape eventually. Well it was because he was so intelligent that he could think of the ways to do this. A normal prisoner, a normal criminal probably wouldn't have the intelligence. Okay, another another question about you know different countries. What would your country's policemen do if a person escaped from prison every time? Or let's say many times. So what will be a punishment? Sergey, what do you think will be a punishment in Russia? 
uh, they have the uh, after the attempts for uh, escapes. Uh, if the policeman uh, have found uh, this person, he had a twice uh, years. Uh, they double his prison. sentence. Yeah, in, in they, the prison, and they, uh, we have the special. We have the special articles in our uh, loan about uh, about. Uh, escapes from the prison and Pri uh, yeah, prison escapes prison escapes and uh, in our country we have the several types of prison uh, the low uh, the, security uh, low security like, like a small village uh, for prisoners uh, and uh, you have to put uh, your uh, sign every day uh, morning and the evening and uh, you uh, could live uh, inside the uh, usually village, but uh, it's uh, other region. And the uh, uh, general regime and the hard regime and the special, special, very hard regime for the maniacs, for the uh, every uh, escapes person with uh, yeah. permanently uh, checked uh, yeah. Yeah. this person. Yeah, uh, with you, yeah, minimum and maximum security. Yeah, it's not only about yeah. security, it's about like circumstances. So what Sergei Minion mentioned as a village, it's actually you are restricted in a right to left this village, but that's all. So you live in one place, but no one is punishing you, you know, so you don't have any regime at all. You live your life. So. And do you have a job? Do they have? Yeah, they... they provide you a job if you cannot find one. So. <laughs> Like hey, uh, I think I will go to Russia and get <laughs> locked up and escape. <laughs> Don't do this, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I often thought about, would you rather be a homeless person eating food out of a, a garbage or in jail getting food every day? But it's very interesting. You know, there is a nice book about O. Henry. It's an American writer and he wrote a good book about this. So there was a like a bum, a homeless person who uh, dreamed to get to into the prison, but he dreamed always, about yeah, going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, nice. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was in a theater a few days ago with this uh, performance, and it was brilliant. Yeah, and he always failed to get to into the prison. <laughs> so I will share the link. Uh, yes, and speaking about uh, punishments, you know, in Russia we have two differences with Americans. First of all, we don't have cap capital punishment, so the the most like secure prison it's for for guys like to replace this. And another thing, you know, in Russia you cannot get like uh, twenty hundred years in prison. Yeah, that's because, ridiculous. Because we don't sum uh, your like periods. They're we, not cons They don't run consecutively. Yeah, the, you, we have a we have a system that your major uh, crime, like your most serious, serious crime, most serious crime is only one who will be like in charge. The, the one you serve. You only serve. You only yeah, yeah. Speaking of uh, executions, capital punishment, George W. Bush was governor of Texas, and I think he he was responsible or he signed off on the most executions. Yeah, in tech, in the history of Texas, I think he was very efficient in, <laughs> in signing death warrants. Death, death. He's practicing for Iraq. Anyway, okay. okay. Let's ask Sorry. some questions. What will, will happen to a guy who constantly escapes in a prison? In uh, if the criminal uh, has done uh, has committed serious crimes, like. Uh, killing somebody or something. If he is a real threat to the society or the public, then the police would have killed him in some other way. So just like in a call it an encounter, a, a fake encounter. So they would say that the person was trying to escape while he got, uh, while we were moving him from one prison to another prison. So he had to shoot him down. Uh, something like that. So they would claim their action as uh, how to say that they they, they the right, uh, set uh, him up. Uh, no, set him up. Uh, how do you claim your action as a justify? Uh, justify, yes. Uh, so they would justify uh, their self action. defense. Yeah, self defense. And uh, 
and if he was just a, a normal uh, petty thief um, so they would uh, he would have entered what is it he would uh, he would be ended up in a confined space uh, yeah, conf solitary confinement solitary uh, confinement just like the cool hand loop he would spend his days in the box yeah, and and steven the guy from uh, the last the latest movie he is on 23 hour lockdown still he you know he got 200 years in prison i i week i did a google on him i googled him mm -hmm. after the movie and he's still in jail and he's on, he's in solitary confinement 23 hours a day seems very harsh the treatment for what he did you know he didn't murder anybody he didn't rape anybody he just made the, he made a fool of the of the system but it's but it's uh, us you know and they have a system of three strikes three strikes you know the system three strikes yeah bill clinton was responsible for that yeah so if bill. you made a very minor crime like you know stealing something minor but three times a row you are in you you, you for have life a, yeah you get life yeah. yeah but he got 10 life sentences yeah he ain't but, ever getting out. <laughs> well, He's never a, getting out. It's a complicated topic, you know. We we never know what is the best. Like have a strong system of punishment or like soft one. It should be re uh, related to the the severity of the crime, in my but opinion. It's, but it's subjective, always. You know, some people say it's a very serious, and the others say, "Well, it's nothing, just money." Well, escape. Well, yeah. Well, hey. Financial crimes. To how many bankers went to jail after the in two thousand and nine? Oh. Well, yeah, zero. Well, <laughs> in America, it's, uh, very few. In Iceland, they they locked up all their bankers, all their crooked <laughs> bankers. In Iceland, they know what how to how to do it. Okay, what sounds, please? Yeah, many criminals try uh, try to loot banks and other. Uh, organizations uh, rather than uh, looting from individual any individual or any public because they they don't feel any guilt when they rob a bank but they would feel if they snatch a wallet from a, from an individual so I think that's why they prefer to rob uh, banks or something and, and also we don't we don't feel so bad when Steve was stealing money because he just he was just making full of the banks and other things he didn't uh, cheat any, any individual I think it's called a victimless crime that's the name yeah, of it victim. victimless crime well it's interesting that you know time changed and for instance in Soviet Union if you grabbed you know a person it was a like minor crime kidnap Oh no! Just hurt, just grab, rob, rob, yeah, like steal the wallet. Yeah, rob, rob them, yeah, rob them. It's it was a minor crime. But if you steal something from um, government, from you know, uh, how we call it, from society, it was a major one. You just punished seven. They they threw the book at you. they they threw the book at you. <laughs> threw the book at you. Yeah, that's what they say when yeah. they did the, the whole. Um, the the most severe sentence to tr they throw to throw the book at you, yeah. That means they gave you the the worst. But sentence. now now it's kind of changing. So and I heard that Putin, our president, he said you know about financial crimes, and he said if a person just pay back twice, it's okay. So let him go. He already got his lessons. Something like this. It's not a law anymore. I mean, uh, it's not a law. It's not a law. It's it's not a law anymore. No, it's not a law yet. But they discuss. Okay. They they discuss it. Yeah, it's funny for me. Yeah. Uh, every day I trust uh, Putin me uh, less, less and less. <laughs> well, if I think that he's in, if he's in bed with the bankers, then anyway, let's not talk about that. Okay. Let's uh, now our last question. Um... Is being gay forbidden in your country? Would common people accept even, even if the law permits that? So answer for Russia. We don't have any law against this, please. <laughs> but in society, people... How they frown. frown. 
frown they frown upon on it. it. They frown upon it. Yeah, frown upon. Yeah. Or they disapprove of it. Disapprove it. Yeah, frown yeah. upon. And actually, for instance, some like people, some straight people, some fanatics, some homophobes. Can, homophobes, they can beat you, for instance. It will be a crime. They will end up in a with some punishment. As, as, as they possible. should, yeah. A physical assault is, is not yeah, acceptable. Not acceptable, but it, it could happen in some rare case. If and has, know, and if has happened. You, if, uh, especially, it, it, I think it, it's easy to, to reach if you provoke people, you know, if you do some parades or some performance on the street. So you will find your... You, know, <laughs> you your, get what you're asking. You will get what you're asking for. Yeah, yeah. It's not that hard, I think. Yeah. So what about Sweden, Jürgen? Uh, it's not forbidden, but uh, I think people frown upon it. Yeah. Okay. Really, I didn't expect that. Yeah. I thought Sweden was 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 uh, super liberal. Yeah. We know now. <laughs> we know now. There's hidden conservatives, <laughs> secret conservatives. Yeah. But I know that in Spain it's much different. Yeah. It's legal in Spain. It was legalized in 2006. The first country, I think, to legalize it. You know? But, yeah. Uh, well, it's legal, it's... legalized gay marriage, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my impression from my living in Madrid is that it's not only like uh, legalized, my impression was that it's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there, there's definitely a campaign to um, to normalize homosexuality. And it's not only in Spain, it's all over the West. And look at the referendum in Ireland. The referendum, all the young people were wanted to vote in favor of gay marriage. It doesn't affect enough people for me. It only affects, I don't know, a couple of hundred people, who are yeah. gay, gay people who want to get married. It's a smoke screen for me, the whole thing. But I can see it happening. It's like an organized campaign. Every series has to have a homosexual relation. Have you noticed? Every single new series yeah. has to, even what The Walking Dead, I was thinking about it the other day, had a lesbian relationship. It's mandatory now. Yeah, it's mandatory. It's the normalization of homosexuality. Um, there you go. Yeah, there are a lot of conspiracy theory about this, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, probably. But, yeah, Vasan. So, what is what is about you? What about your account? How mm. things are? Yes. Uh, recently, uh, Indian government accepted uh, same-sex sex marriage, and it's illegal now. But still, the people's mindset has not changed. Maybe it's because of the culture, uh, and in and India consists of so many different cultures, and all of them have one unique thing uh, about the, the sexual relationship. So uh, the same-sex marriage is always uh, uh, thought as, as, uh, as a forbidden one. So uh, people has not changed. Uh, and uh, just like uh, we are so uh, conservative, you know, uh, you may the, be give all the permission to the government that they can uh, ban any currency note, they can uh, uh, impose any new taxes, uh, but uh, don't dare to touch our cultural or religious thing. <laughs> don't dare touch my balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> a Spanish expression. <laughs> uh. Okay, funny one. Okay, I think we finished with that, with these questions, so... What is the moral of the movie, guys? I'm not yeah. gay, by the way. Just in case you're thinking. <laughs> just to state it, yeah? Because that's two movies okay, I got. <laughs> okay, a, a free, free advice for you guys. You know, uh, whenever you go to Russia, just don't say that you are gay or not gay or nothing. You know, we don't discuss these things. Yeah. Uh, at all, yeah. So, so, and don't ask others, please. It will be, it can make you in a... A target. Not a target, but in, a, in an uncomfortable situation. I yeah. I don't know where people get off thinking they have uh, a say about what people do in bed. Adults, other adults. Yeah. Fucking Americans, like Bible <laughs> beaters. <laughs> no, no sodomy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you. 
Tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the slide. Can, 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 can you see them? Can you see my shame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, could you start, please? Okay, uh, here is in the church and the uh, gospel choir are singing beautiful or lovely. <laughs> and uh, Stephen plays the piano. Yeah, he's, yeah, well, he does play it, yes, but he is playing gospel, yeah, the gospel. Well, gospel requires black people, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it does really, you know. But, but, That's just a who, church choir. That's a church was, choir. Ah, okay, sure. Yeah. Choir, choir? What, what is choir? Is choir there... is a group of singers in a church. Choir? Choir. Oh, I'm going to have to spell this one for you. <laughs> C-H-O-I-R. <clears throat> ah, okay. So we pronounce it like choir, okay? Yeah, you'd never get it from... From this pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Ch Chior. Chior. Okay. Choir. Okay. Sorry, Jorgen, for interrupting you. So, uh, if you're describing a pro, uh, listen, Jorgen, if you're describing a picture, everything is in present continuous. So, uh -huh. so you know, he is playing the piano. Ah. Uh -huh. right, excuse me, the keyboard. He is playing the piano. Uh -huh. And the rest, and what are the rest of the people doing? They are singing. Mm -hmm. They are singing from the hymn sheet. And when uh, an interesting thing, when two people agree, you know, on the same thing, uh, we're singing from the same hymn sheet. We say, "Okay, we okay. both believe the same thing." Mm -hmm. Okay, so like you're, you're you're pre we are on the same page. Yeah, exactly the same one. Yeah, or if someone is telling you what to do, you say you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> that the, because the priest is the one or the reverend is the the man who preaches God Jesus saves and uh, you know preach the choir already his friend <laughs> they're already sold so you don't need to convince them okay okay what else uh, they are holding their uh, books hymn, hymn books hymn books uh... hymn is a, re a religious song a hymn H Y M. But what is about one official uh, song for the country? Is it a hymn? No, no, it's a national, the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the same word in Russian for anthem and hymn. Okay. And they are wearing uh, green long robes. Robes. Go when I go when there's the mandatory. What's this one? Oh, look at this here. <laughs> it's even in the church. Look. It's a flag. Yeah. Yeah. The flag. The, the, what's the name of the American flag? Union Jack. No, that's the UK. The Union yeah. Jack. Yeah. Union Jack. The Union Jack is from the UK, okay. Scotland, Wales, and England. It's a mixture of the three flags. Okay, American one, stars and Samsung, right? Star Spangled Banner. Wow. <laughs> Please write. Star Oh save us the Star Spangled Banner. Blah blah blah. <laughs> spangled. Spangled means there are lots of sp spa uh, stars all over it. Uh, okay. banner. Star Spangled Banner. Okay. Okay, and this else? How we call this, um, like, I don't know what, uh, with the uh, icon, with the Jesus, Jesus on it. I'm not familiar with that, with that. Uh, that this Probably, is some type of medicine, med Methodist or Baptist church. No, it's not an altar. No. An altar is, the, it's, a, it's usually made from marble and the priest stands behind it and it's mm -hmm. big, it's quite big. This just looks like something. Look like an altar, A, -A L T A R. Okay, look like, let's call it inflatable altar. <laughs> it's some kind of uh, display. Porta portable, portable display. It looks like a portable display. Yeah. You would know more about icons than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Any else? Any questions about this? So let's go. It's okay. Any questions? What's this called? No. Nope. Or, or have we done this before? We, we, have, we did it last week. Chandler. Chandelier. Yeah, the chandelier is hanging from the ceiling. 
Okay, it's a... Um, this is candelabra. a candelabra. Candelabra, okay. <laughs> candelabra. And we don't see your like pointer, so I have to guess. Oh, you don't see, you can't see my pointer, no? Can, no. I can't use the, all right. Why can't okay. I use the... Okay, another one. Sergey, what is happening on? Uh, Steve, uh, Steve came to his mother and uh, after the uh, conversation he uh, went to the police car with the carpet. Welcome. The welcome mat. Welcome mat and uh, he uh, he uh, speak very emotional. It's me, it's it's my uh, some, something else. And, uh, <laughs> because it's written and, welcome and he's, he was not welcome. <laughs> He said it's you it, it doesn't belong there i will keep it yeah yeah there uh, there are f uh, wood fence and uh there is a special box for males opposed yeah, yeah the, mailbox uh, mailbox the uh, the it is st a stylish american mailbox uh, if my opinion because i uh watch a lot of, i watch it a lot of uh, the uh, similar mailbox in the American movie, but yeah. I uh, didn't see uh, a real mailbox in the U.S. Uh, and uh, additional in Russia, we uh, didn't use the similar boxes. No. Can, can you see this box? It has kind of a red flag or something. So yeah, okay. that's to show you if there's mail in it or not. The postman lifts the little flag yeah. to say oh. that the post box is full or the mailbox is full. Yeah, but how how to say what what this flag is doing? Is this flag is what erected? Or what? It's a, yeah. If it's up, it means that there is mail. You've got yeah, yeah. mail. Yeah, but what, what's the word for this? The, this little this little flag little flag <laughs> plastic flag thing. It plastic flag? A, no, yeah, it doesn't I mean, have a specific I mean, name. I mean the word. So plastic flag can be down or up. But yeah, up or down. Put it up. Put it up. Put it down. Okay. Put it down. Okay. Vertical. Sorry, you're going. Just it doesn't for, have for, to be. For, Vertical. vertical, horizontal. No, you wouldn't use that really. Uh, it, c it could be vertical. Yeah, you could say that. Standard. It's, it's. We would say it is up or it is down. Okay, because I expected something, some strange word, you know, something like cooked or something like this. Cocked. You cocked. mean like a gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Flag, flag There's no, no special uh, words for this. Uh, to be up and to be down. Okay. And the post. It's on a post. P O S T. Strangely, mm -hmm. the, the the wooden um, thing holding it, yeah. Yeah, they're only in America, as far as I know. I've never seen them outside of the US, those mailboxes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My sons, please, do you have a question? Yes, uh, what do we call uh, the biological mother, the original one? We have foster mother. How do we call this one? Biolo his biological mother. Mm, that's it. His birth mother. No, he wouldn't say his birth mother. <laughs> it's redundant. Yeah, just mother, I guess. Yeah, his real mother, not his adopted mother. But I think in, in, in uh, ten years we will call it like parent one, parent two, parent three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking about it that uh, uh, the mother and the father. It's not good uh, word yeah, for uh, the, the modern world. It's a sexism, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, gender bias. <laughs> gender bias, exactly. <laughs> okay, anything else on the picture? Flowers. What can That's we call it. the yeah. top of the fence? Uh, they are this shape, like triangle shape of the fence. Right? Yeah, I don't really know if they if the. Okay, let's call it peaks. They have an exact name. Like an arrow, they are... Yeah, uh, arrow, yeah. Like, I think it's a peak or what is this? Yeah, it would be a peaked, Cone. peaked Cone. fence. Again? Pointy. Pointy fence, that works. Okay, pointy. Okay, let's go. Okay, nice one. <laughs> Please. Stephen and his ex uh, wife and his talking. 
Okay, walking the dogs. Okay. On the side way or side top. And there's the chair. On the top. And then he's passing by. Holding a bag. It might be a grocery. So do we, do we have a special word for this, you know, Paseo del Mar, for this, uh, like, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it's close to the, to the beach, it's called a boardwalk, and it's wooden. But okay. this is just, this is not a boardwalk. Board. It's, they're just walking along the boardwalk, under the boardwalk. There's a song. Okay. Down by the sea, under the boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, the boardwalk is a wooden structure. It's wooden, and it's built out onto the beach. So you can walk along it. They don't have them in too many places. Portugal. Mm -hmm. This is just they're just walking along the street, right? Yeah. And I like architecture. You no, know, whenever you see, you see yeah. to totally white uh, buildings, you can imagine that it's a soul, so something sunny, something hot. Mm. Make palm you, trees. Yeah, make you a clue for this. It gives you a clue. Gives you gives you a clue. Okay. Okay, what about this uh, golden buckle? How we call it? Buckle. Buckle? Belt golden. buckle, yeah. Okay. Is it mandatory? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. No, it's just <laughs> another a gay touch. Okay, what else, please? Like the dogs. <laughs> yeah, uh, one thing I liked about Jim Carrey's uh, talent is he. How do you say that? He replicated the. Feministic war, uh, perfectly throughout the movie. The way he smiles, the way he walks. So he played. A, he movie. played a gay. He he played a gay really well. Yeah, he played a gay really well. But, uh, but uh, how do we call that? The, uh, the body portray. language of uh, feminist. Uh, feminist. Yeah, he so he so he he put on very effeminate oh, uh, yeah. a body language. Yeah. <laughs> okay, probably he got some training. <laughs> Jorgen, would you describe this one? So where yeah. is this? What, what is happening? He has put uh, olive oil on the floor and slipped. Yeah, virgin oil oil, yeah? <laughs> Sorry? He said it's a virgin... Virgin. Virgin olive oil. A virgin like, oil. Yeah. <laughs> like it's important, you know. Okay, and please. He, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, intentionally. Yeah. Intentionally slipped. Slept intentionally. Slipped. Slipped. Okay. Slipped. That's an aisle. Yes, it is, Vasanth. The aisle in a supermarket. A supermarket, a church, a plane. And a cinema. There are the four aisles. Okay, and theater as well. Yeah, yeah I just said cinema, didn't I? Okay. Theater is the same thing, basically. No, it's not. Okay, well, to go down the aisle is a euphemism to get married. To, because of the church, right? Yeah, to walk down the aisle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so not too much here, but we can see that it's a um, kind of Mall, right? Can you say so? Supermarket. Supermarket. A lot of things on. Um, what's the word for this? On sale. On, shelves. On, on the shelves, good. The shelves, the shelves are stuffed with things. They are stuffed with with things, good. Good. There are some ba some bargains. Some bargains. You mean this uh, like lower prices? Right? Yeah. Okay. Not too much here. Okay, but this guy is you know doing very well. Another one. Sergey, what is happening with this one? Uh, he tried to uh, escape uh, from the clinic uh, when his wife uh, speaks with the police and the doctor. Yeah. Do you remember the question that his wife asked uh, this guy? Not policeman, but um, his partner. Uh, not, not. I didn't she asked, she asked it, uh, do you think that uh, it's um, mandatory thing to you know to be a thief 
for a gay. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, listen, he asked. He asked. The pronunci yeah, the pronunciation, asked. Mm -hmm. Asked. She asked. She asked. She asked, yeah? She asked him. Yeah, she asked. So she asked some, something like, is it like, she... is it a thing to be, to be a, to be a thief, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Is it a thing among gay men? <laughs> among gay men, yeah. Mm. So it was a, an insult, right? It was an insult, definitely, to the boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. He didn't, put... he didn't take it very well. <laughs> he stormed off like a real queen, like a real queer. <laughs> and he had his little walk, his little gay walk. So he says, <laughs> storm, storm it off. He yeah? stormed off, yeah. Storm definitely. Off. Like a proper drama queen. <laughs> no, gay men, gay men are notorious. Okay, so gay, anything else? Uh, yes, uh, what's the name of the special uh, metal construction for tubes? Mm -hmm. Steve, mm -hmm. I know that the, the bag is called an IV. I don't know what the holder thing is called. Okay, let's just be honest. I, I, IV holder, probably. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know how how name is in Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you gotta you gotta remember that. <laughs> Bear that in mind when you ask me questions. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably it's also a portable portable IV holder. Okay. okay. Because it's on wheels. So what what are these boxes on the wall? Small so they, they're all sockets. Outlets, right? Sockets, outlets. Right? Okay, sockets or outlets. I, pr I presume for different um, machinery, hospital monitors and things. Okay, and he is what? Uh, on He's his... taking out or plugging out or Plugging ripping, out. you could say ripping out because he's doing it fast and with violet, you know, it, like that. Oh, okay, but what, needles? needles well, no, there are tubes, the, the, needle, the needle procedure, <laughs> the oh. needle, well, maybe they are needles, yeah, they are needles. Okay. Well, and we, we, this... say, we would say ripping, he's ripping out the tubes. Okay. And this uh, like piece of clothes, drapes, it's just drapes, right? Between, between two like chambers. Between two uh, be beds. Between two beds, yeah. A screen? So, what did you yes. say? Yeah, screen or drape. Yeah. Yeah? Screen. Drapes more f like a curtain. For window, right? Eh? Yeah. That's too long, bro. That's a screen. It's a screen. Mm -hmm. okay. Pull back the screen. <laughs> yeah, and uh, on the how do you call this uh, table? Where, where's your pointer? Yeah, yeah, that's on the bedside table or bedside Bed locker. On the bedside table, they have a monitor or screen with uh, probably heart beating system. Yeah, his heartbeat. heartbeat. And what are the two things below the? That I asked you last week. These things that are in the night, the night, the bedside locker. For keeping keys and, and things. Mm, a vase? Yeah, drawers, Vasant. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The deck is the, the 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 deck is a part of a ship where you walk out and smell the air. That's mm -hmm. called the deck. And people mm -hmm. build decks in their in their gardens. Okay. And this, uh, this wooden thing, it looks like a shelf to me. Yeah, it is, I think. Okay, another one. Who was the last? Uh, Vasans, please. Where are they? And what are they doing? Um, uh, this is where uh, Steve meets um, Morris. Uh, it's in the, in the prison library. Um, he was telling him that he's, if he was an appropriate, he used to be an appropriate. Um, and they are talking about something certainly and then hearing doubts I think okay I, I cannot read this rules of conduct on this picture but let's just you know invent let's just made up a few so if you was if you were in charge of reading this rules of conduct what would you write there's no loud behavior, I think. <laughs> I think no eye contact. No smoking. No eye contact allowed. 
I would write. What do you think? No touch butt. <laughs> <laughs> no playing touch butt. No spitting. No spitting, okay. Uh, I think I can read no spitting. <laughs> we are in prison, remember? <laughs> Sergey, Jorgen, please made a few rules, you know, for this uh, table. Rule of conduct. Yeah. What would you write? So my guess is no eye contact. Just to make it funny. <laughs> what would you guess? No loud noise. Yeah. Yeah. Just invent a few, you know, make him. No jerking off. <laughs> no, no, no drink alcohol. No drinking. Yeah. No, okay. no homosexual sex inside the lab. <laughs> okay, good. Exactly. One. <laughs> uh, okay, so we use uh, no eating, no eating in the library. So we use uh, gerund, right? Like uh, ink form. Ing, exactly. No doing this. No doing this. No smoking. And no smoking. And we all we use like a noun, right? No homosexual yeah. sex. Yeah, that's it. It's a noun. Okay, so two forms, or we can put it another way. Something like no. when you're saying no, uh, doing this, <clears throat> no okay, smoking. No. What about prohibited something? Uh, smoking is prohibited. Smoking is prohibited. Okay. So this, again, it would be ger it'd be gerund. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just a rule of thumbs, right? Gerund or noun. Okay. Okay, I'm stopping share because we run out of time. But it was a nice discussion. I didn't expect that we could make it. <laughs> we would make it <laughs> because of the movie. And thank you all for coming. Thank you all for do, do, do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You can pick the next movie.